What's up, friends? I'm Riff. Could you help me start up my Monday by hitting the like button? It would make my week. We have some wacky new peripheral drawings for the Nintendo Switch. Could these happen? Let's get into this episode of Squad News. Nintendo has made it very clear they're not doing some sort of 2.0 Switch version anytime soon, but something that has been talked about a lot lately is the fact that there is a lot of ports from the Wii U coming over to the Nintendo Switch. And with that, there's a lot of games that utilize the Wii U gamepad as sort of a second screen. Is there something that Nintendo Switch could do that would kind of replace the Wii U gamepad screen, making it easier to port over these Wii U games? Well, there's an artist and designer named Eric Kubli who has proposed a way to possibly fix some of these problems. He has proposed to us something he likes to call the Boy-Con, which is an extended version of one Joy-Con, which makes the Nintendo Switch much wider to hold. But with that, I don't really see any sort of comfortability problems with that. It looks like this extended Joy-Con Boy-Con could be used also kind of like a VMU, a visual memory unit, which we had on the Sega Dreamcast. At first when I saw these, I thought they looked pretty silly, but looking at them more, I feel like we really could utilize this. There's games like Star Fox Zero, which I actually personally like but could be done better if it was ported over in a different way. And that is a game that utilizes the Wii U gamepad quite a bit, so I could see this Boy-Con really coming in handy. I feel like there's a ton of other ways Nintendo could utilize this Boy-Con, even as its own little separate playable system. But with that, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Is this crazy? Is it silly? Is it something Nintendo should actually maybe look at and say, hmm, maybe we could do something with this. With it being Monday morning, it is a new week, so I want to give you guys all the Nintendo Switch games that are coming out in the next seven days, and I will be telling you if they're physical or digital. Starting with digital only, we have Coffin Dodgers, Danmaku Unlimited 3, Spiral Splatter, Bingo for Nintendo Switch, Enchanting Mahjong Match, Gem Smashers, Neon Wall, Sparkle 3, Genesis, The Long Reach, World Neverland, El Nia Kingdom, a Splatoon 2 Starter Edition, and Toki Tori. And now for physical releases. And we got Kirby Star Allies as the only physical release this week dropping this Friday, March 16th. Let me know if you guys are going to be picking it up. I myself will be getting the game for sure. I love the demo and I'm hyped to play it. Let me know what you guys are doing down below. Ready Player One is going to be dropping in theaters March 29th, and when we saw the original trailer, some people were skeptical, some people were concerned, but now we had a screening just happen a few days ago, and a lot of the results are in. Spielberg's Ready Player One just screened at South by Southwest Festival in Austin, and although there was some concerns from a few audience members, Ready Player One seems to be a crowning achievement for Spielberg. Then this comes to us from Polygon. This is great news to hear that the audience that saw the movie, the majority of these people are loving the movie. Let me read to you guys some of the highlights, some of the reactions I heard, the better reactions that got me even more excited to see. Ready Player One. Scott Menzel says, Ready Player One is a pop culture extravaganza, a truly one-of-a-kind film that combines video games, TV, movies, music, and action figures into one huge crowd-pleasing film. Prepare to be wowed and see this on the biggest screen with the best sound possible. Hashtag Ready Player One. Ready Player One is classic Steven Spielberg. It's got the references, the ferocious effects and the great 80s soundtrack, but also the charm, the heart, the humor, and a fantastic Alan Silvestri score. I loved it, and so did this SXSW crowd. Be excited for it. And lastly, Raman Setuti says, Ready Player One is the most purely entertaining movie Spielberg has done in a long time. Time, possibly since Minority Port. Hashtag South by Southwest. Will you be headed out to theaters March 29th? If you are, maybe I will see you in theaters. Hold me a seat, grab me some popcorn because I will be there for sure. All right, guys, that was your quick news update for this Monday here at Superhero Game Squad. Make sure you guys subscribe. We are here five days a week. We are live streaming now, Tuesdays and Thursdays and sometimes Fridays. Subscribe, join us, have fun with us, and be a part of what we do here, which is be silly and have a good time. That's it. We'll see you guys soon. Thank you, and I hope you have a fantastic day.